here is all my stuff. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my college move-in and move-out experience. Sadly, I had to move out of my freshman dorm room because of the coronavirus. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Saying goodbye to my room because right now I'm moving to college. You wanna go for a final walk? You wanna go for a final walk before I go to college? One of his favorite things in the world, the walks. Takito! I think one of the hardest parts for me was having to say goodbye to my dog, my best friend, Taquito. No, you have to stay. Stop, you're making this hard. I love you. Bye. Here is all my stuff. I think I overpacked just a little. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna miss home a lot. I have a bike, guitar, the lamp from Costco that Upperelli bought me. Thank you, Upperelli. You know, the essentials, the essentials. Yeah. After loading all my stuff into the van, we hit the road. It was about a six and a half to seven hour drive. My sister and her girlfriend were nice enough to drive me there and help me move in. We took a pit stop and I just found this place really funny. The name's called Button Willow. I don't know. Um, I got Subway Spicy Italian, my fave. And then we smelled the beautiful smell of cow poop and we knew we were in Sacramento. <laughs> the whole drive was surreal and once I saw the UC Davis exit sign, I'm like, wow, this is actually happening. The first thing I did was get my bike registered. I also parked and locked my bike for the first time with my U-lock. And the most exciting part was checking out my dorm room for the first time. I thought it was so cute how everyone had a little name tag on the front of their door. And this is the first time I met my roommate, Emily. Uh, we were a little awkward and shy at first, um, but it was so much fun because we got to move our stuff in together and decorate the place together. This actually wasn't the very first time we met. We actually knew each other before we were roommates. I just mean that this is the first time we met as official roommates. After struggling to put on my extra long twin sheets, we ate at the DC for the first time and I had this really bomb burger. It was really good. And by the way, this is the Tercero Dining Commons. I forgot to mention this earlier, but my building, Scrub Oak, was actually under construction for the first quarter or so I was living in the dorms. I think it had something to do with water leakage in the roof or something, but it wasn't that big of a problem. It was just funny because all the other dorms were like super nice, and mine was the only one that was like covered in green scaffolding. <laughs> Before my family left, I showed them the Ark, which is our beautiful gym on campus. And then it came time to say goodbye and I was left all alone for the very first time. It was sad and scary and a little overwhelming, but at the same time, it felt good to be independent. So I'm writing in a calendar for the first time. And I put the dates on the bottom, but I like a better on the top. One of my favorite parts about the move-in process was probably decorating my area, just putting pictures on my wall and making the whiteboard just to make everything feel more personalized and sentimental. I was really scared of getting homesick, so I was sure to put a bunch of pictures of my friends and family all over my wall on my desk, just so I can make my very new surroundings feel more like home. We lived in a triple and I got the single bed and I also got the desk by the window which is one thing that I asked my roommates to have because I really prefer natural lighting. My dresser was right next to my desk and underneath my bed was a drawer set as well as a lot of storage space. I also kept my hamper underneath there. Oh and one really cute thing was this little welcome gift that Emily left on my desk when I first walked in. Oh she's so sweet. I have the best roommates ever. And shout out to this Korean rice cracker. You are the bomb. Man, that freshman spirit. I was determined to get on top of my schoolwork, so after I settled in, I made this super cute little schedule for myself, and I have not done it since. <laughs> this is me going to the common bathroom for the first time. To be honest, I was really scared of sharing a bathroom with people, but it really wasn't bad at all. And this was my first time sleeping in my college dorm. 
to be honest in the beginning i was kind of insecure because i snore when i sleep so i'm like oh, my roommates are gonna hate me but i mean they were fine with it they got used to it that night i realized i had forgotten to bring a comforter so i definitely froze my butt off that night so pro tip please don't forget to bring a comforter to college in an attempt to meet the people on our floor and make friends, we wrote this cute little sign on our whiteboard outside of our door. And we actually started a trend because people started to do this after us. So, yeah. What is happening? Oh, is this, is this part of the reconstruction? <laughs> it's either that or it's raining hard. But I don't think it's raining. So yeah, that was my move in experience. Now let's move on to my move out experience. Where are we going? Where are we going? It's kind of a long story, but basically after spring break when the coronavirus got big, everyone in college had to move out of their dorms, so we made a spontaneous trip to Davis to get all my stuff. Why do you do that in every show? Why? Why? You either go like this. Or The circumstances were definitely not ideal, but I was still really excited to show Ruben and Takito my dorm room for the first time, and I was just thankful that they got to see it before I had to move out of it. We hit the road pretty late, and we got to Davis around 10 p.m., so it was interesting to move all my stuff out at night. Takito's at my school, and Ruben's at my school. Say hi. Hi. Takito is exploring UC Davis. Oh, Takito. So this is Tercero. We're moving out, sadly. I'm depressed. Ruben is at Davis. It's so weird seeing you here. Ruben, that over there is where Emily and I get Pocky all the time. Yay. It's um the Tessera Market. Takito is enjoying. You see that building, Ruben? No. That's mine. Mm -hmm. That's my building. It's called Scrub Oak. I have to say, it was weird seeing Reuven on my campus and I wish he could have seen it when it was under normal conditions and we could have like explored together. But it's okay, I'll force him to come back when everything's back to normal. This is our common area. Tiki's like, nice, nice. <laughs> Tiki's like, I approve. This is our bathroom. I was already sad, but seeing what Emily left on the whiteboard made it even worse. And just seeing our room empty and deserted, just, oh, it was so unreal. And I just was so depressed during the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm the last one. <laughs> oh, Takito, you were on the bed. Get off of there. No, those are not loofahs. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, I dropped that L on there and I guess she found it and she put it on. Just like when I first moved in, my roommates left me a little gift on my desk. Oh my goodness. In just two quarters, I added a lot to this board, and here's what it ended up looking like. We're in my dorm for the last time and for the first time. My first time. time. Do you like it, Ruben? Yeah, I love it. I'm really sad. You're Look at Taquito. My first time. <laughs> We're packing away my room, my beautiful dorm room. Room 401, Scrub Oak, freshman year of UC Davis. I'm really gonna miss it. Ruben, you are ah! very helpful. I'm doing clothes and helping with efficiency and packing space. I'm literally depressed. I really missed. I'm really gonna miss this. Oh, Ruben. It's okay. We have a new adventure ahead of you. Look forward to your next adventure. Dada. Can you put the video there? Dada. <laughs> They're having family now. <laughs> We're welcome, gonna to break my, this welcome to my vlog. Oh my. You're heavy. I now have to heal. Reuven is so sweet, he packed a lot of my stuff and helped me in the midst of my sadness. And Takeda was living his best life up in my dorm room. Playing with the ball. Is that the ball, Takeda? This is so depressing.
As Ruben did all the packing, I kind of just moped around. Just kidding, of course I helped him, but I was just admiring my room for the last time and taking it all in. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Ruben gave me a tat. And now he's giving me another one. What is that? That says Ling, doesn't it? That is so beautiful. Wow, I'm proud of you. I am freaking proud of you. Hey, tat. Crazy. <laughs> After a couple hours, we finally finished packing everything and it was time to say goodbye. Oh my goodness, my dorm experience was the best I could have ever asked for. I had so many great memories with my amazing roommates and it couldn't have been any better, honestly. Video of me leaving my college dorm room. Thanks for the memories, it was really fun. <laughs> dorm life is something i am so incredibly thankful to have experienced that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video